This is found in the book of Genesis, and I quoted it this morning as I was inviting men for, for this meeting. Verse number 8 of chapter 3. Then the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord God as he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And they hid from the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man, Where are you? And the man answered and said, I had you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid. And he said, Who told you that you are naked? Have you eaten from the tree that I commanded you not to eat? A wonderful scripture, starting from verse number 8. Then the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord. We are praying that this year of restoration, our, this hearing aid will be so open and so sensitive to the sound of God. Because we are living in a time when there are so many noises around us. But so that we can hear the sound of the Lord. When we were having a discussion in, the, in, the, in, the, in G12 yesterday, we were looking at how you, can, how you need some, something to close the noise outside. The noise outside of you. And somebody is the one who, in the book we are reading. Somebody was traveling in the air from one part of the U.S. to the other part of the U.S. And the journey was long. But inside, uh, the, uh, there was a father and a mother who went to first class or business class. But the children, small ones, were left at the economy uh, whatever. And so they were screaming and fighting and so on. And then there was someone with a small baby. And you know, because of the takeoff and the landing of the plane, those, you know, that the children were crying, the small children. And so this man was in a big mess. Uh, because the noise there was too much. And then, of course, in now in Akwagana, Kerereake. Hata ikuwa uko juu nasikia tu, bado inasonga tu, hiyo iko na kerere yake pia. So this man says he went into his uh, 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 carry-on and removed earphones, the Bose earphone that helps you to control the noise from outside. So that he can put them in his ear so that he can be at peace for the noise around him. And you know, you and I, so that we can hear God, then we'll have to devise a way of kind of putting off any other noise which is not the noise of God. Now, when my children were small, I would know when it is Nyambura crying while seated in church. I would tell Alice, I would signal her from my, the pulpit, to walk outside because that that noise is nyamburas. No, no, I'm I'm saying that you can pick the noise of your baby crying outside when there are so many others. How you do that is the same thing that I pray that God can help you to pick up when God is speaking in the midst of all the noises that there is. So that you can hear. Now that is God speaking. And this is the direction he is taking me. The Bible says they knew the voice of God. Now the place was noisy. There was elephants. There were lions. There were tigers. There was, there was noise. But the Bible says Adam could hear God call him. And Adam and Eve could hear God. They, hear, they had the sound. And the sound of God was different from any other sound. My prayer in this year, 2020, is that God is going to help you and I so that with all the noise that there is, whether economic noise, whether poverty is hitting everywhere, whether political noise is hitting everywhere, that in that noise, you can be so sensitive that you hear the voice of God and you can identify this is the voice of God. You see, there are some people in this country that will not read BBI. They will not even go for it. They don't even care about it. Why? Baba amesema. That's what is. For the first time, people from Central Province are not even bothered. You know, we used to read it, but now we are not bothered. I don't want to ask how many of you have read it. Because that will be another embarrassment for some of us. You see, because someone has read it, and I also want to tell you, that other person did not read it. What they read for us 
at the bombers and what they are telling us now. They are two different things. But can we hear the voice of God through the bombers, the whatever, throughout the BBI? We hear the voice of God so that we can know what we need to do. Now the church is getting together. I know we will have the same challenge. Because even with the BBI, there are issues that the church has a problem with. Because they are hiding themselves in that. And soon they want to introduce things that you and I cannot handle. Because all what they is being blind. But you and I don't need seats. I'm not looking for a position. I want to hear the voice of God. And the Bible tells me that Adam and Eve, although they were naked, in that foreign state, they would still recognize the voice of the Lord. May God restore you and I to being sensitive to that voice that you had when you lifted up your hand and you said, I want to get saved. May that come to you in the name of the Lord. That you will know for sure who you ni mungu si binadamu. Who you ni mungu si okemani. Who you ni mungu si omchungaji yoyote. Who you ni meskia ni mungu. Ame niambia hii ndiyo njia ni andamane nae. Bwana Yesu wasifiwe. Ati huyo mtu na mke wake wakasikia sauti ya mungu katika shamba. Na wakajificha kwa sababu walisikia sauti yake. Lakini wajua mungu weze mjificha in actual fact. This morning the preacher preached to us very well. Very powerfully, powerful preaching. And every section I had, na neno lirikupokuwa likipita. Kama akimaliza nilipata neno lingine. Kwamba, haijalishi situation hile hiko. The bones are scattered all over. Could be my bones. Could be some things that I've done and I'm scattered all over. But the issue of myself prophesying, yani mimi kutabiri. That was very powerful. But what I got when he was finishing was nitatabiri na nitanyamaza tu wakati Mungu atapuliza katika hilo jambo ambalo natabiria. In other words, hata nikitabiri nione mifupa inakimbia. I will not stop there because you know what? Itakuwa mifupa lakini imekufa. My life will still be waiting for the breath of God so that I will prophesy whatever situation that you have. Utatabiri, utabiri Hata ukiona imeanza kuja pamoja utatabiri, ije mishipa yungane pamoja utabiri, mishipa yanza kutu utabiri, nyama zirudi utabiri, gozi yurudi utabiri, baka usikie sauti pumzi ya mungu imeingia ndani. Kwa sababu pumzi ya mungu ikingia, jambo hilo litakuwa hai. Bwana Yesu wasifiwe. So in 2020, don't settle for nothing. Number one, hear the voice of God, identify it from the noises that there is. The noises. Na hizi sauti ni nyingi sana. Sauti nyingi. Na kama huta chunga, hizo sauti ndizo zinakueka chini. Jambo la pili ambalo napata katika kifungu hiki ni, ni hivi. Mstari watisa. And the Lord God called to the man, where are you? You see, where is man? And we all know that man if we are not careful, we can be so busy that we are not available for anything. Because of the, voice, the, pleasure, the pressure that is around us. You know, pressure is too much. I, I don't want to ask you to lift up your hand if you're here and you're married. And you have heard your wife maybe say, Humpendi, ata Friday uku munulia maua. Friday. Kulikuwa wapenda nao, huku nunua maua. Na wewe umejibu kama mwanaume. Ninaendaga kwa sababu ya kutafuta chakula chenu. Na haya kakujibu wakakuambia. Mimi ni wewe ni liyowa. Ni chakula ama ni wewe. Now I want, I want to, to say something here. Siku moja ni mepereka watoto wangu wawiri kwa nunulia viatu kwa sababu walikuwa na shida ya viatu. Za kucheza mpira. Yani raba za kutembea. Na viatu vya kuenda shule. Na nilifikiria haa watoto wawiri. Kama baba yao, wataniambia asanti sana. One was in standard one, the other one was in pre-unit. Nikaenda rivaroli, nikaingia kwa bata. Kira mtu via tumbirimbiri. Nikaingia gari, wakanulizo unaenda wapi. Kwambia nyumbani. Wakasema na chips. Nikasema sinuanulia viatu. Wakasema siurudishe viatu tunde chips. 
you know, many times we find ourselves in a situation like those. So instead of responding to the problem, you say you add on to injuries. I had to spend a lot of money. And sure enough, the guys were serious. Either I return the shoes for the chips or I buy them chips and the shoes. Of course, you see, when God is calling in our family issues, if you are married, he will not be calling for your wife, he will be calling you. Even when he knows makosa imetokea wapi. Unajua wewe utasema hapana ni mama lakini Mungu akija haiulizi ni mama amefanya nini anauliza mzee ulikuwa wapi Na Biblia ukisoma vizuri kama walikuwa pamoja Walikuwa pamoja Si alikunda Karuma akampatia Arume kwani alikuwa mbali Walikuwa hapo tu wanaenda tu Huyu bwana alikuwa ameanza kuwa bonzo yani he is not involved in he cannot even echo back what he had God say to him And let me, let me just try to qualify. I know some of you are saying, Mimi si jaoa. Si, si, you know. I, I, thank you. Are you a man? Yes, I am. Now you see, sisi ni wa Africa. Na wa Africa, kukigongwa git. Thank God. Maybe my father died very early, so that experience I didn't have. But I know mulango wa kwenu ukigongwa sio baba yako anatokaka sasa anatokaka nani wewe unatoka kwa nini mimi ndio mwanaume ama unagoja hiyo sister atoke ama unagoja mama atoke so what i'm saying is that when god is looking he's looking for he's looking for men Men, where are you? That is the question. Where are you? Why are you not where you're supposed to be? Because some of the challenges that come to us, as men, whether married or not, is when we are not in our position that God has called us to be. Because God has called us to show leadership. God has called us to walk like him, humbly as we can, so that they can see the God Father in us. So that people can admire us for the Lord our God. So the question that is being asked is, where, man, where are you? He's looking for men and he's asking, Adam, where are you? The book of Ezekiel 22 has also a similar story. Now, God is asking, I was looking for a man. He was looking for a man. He was looking for a man. And he searched for a man. And he says, I was looking for this man so that I can spare or save the land. He is looking for you to spare or save the land. God is calling you to, to spare the land. Why was he going to do, to, looking for the man to do what? To build a hedge. So God is looking for men who go down on their knees to build hedges. Hedges are protections. So that you can decide, He familia yetu, mimi ndiyo mwanaume hapa, nitaomba ulinzi wa familia yetu. Nizunguke familia, ni build a hedge. God is looking for men that are going to take their position in their families so that you can build hedges and you can only do so if you are a man of prayer. And let me tell you, prayer, you have to pray. Hakuna alternative, maombi, lazima, uombe. Mukiangalia mpira na mke wako, mutako sana. Ati munaka tu every time, munakuja munaka, munaangalia mchezo mpira. Na munaanza kubisha na pale river pool na na hiyo yako. Eh? Yako ni Manchester. Uh, uh, wengine wamekataa Manchester siku hizi. Wamebadilisha eh? But I'm saying mmekaa hapo. You know I used to have a neighbor, very interesting neighbor. Every Friday we went to rescue them fighting. Every Friday. Hapa. What they used to do, they would go out Apo base. Kulikuwa na tubatu ingi, wanakunyu wapamoja. Na wakikunyu wa huko, hawapi gani? Wanakuja tu, wanaingia kwa kwa geti, wanafunga geti, wanaenda kwa kitanda, wanalala. Kitanda yao na yetu ilikuwa ukuta tu. Na huyo mama alikuwa na sauti. 
Nasifikiria alikuwa ameguzwa, hakuwa lakini mzee akiamka ana kama anafanya kitu nduru inapigwa moja, ninaruka kwa kitanda na vaa nguo na ales tunatoka mbio tunaenda ku, kuokoa wa jamaa kwa sababu vita itapiganwa hapo. Kwa sababu mlikunywa pamoja but the responsibility that you had was still there. So when you come home there is some duties that were supposed to be done. Kwa hivyo wewe uko na jukumu. I pray that you can know that your responsibility as a man whether young or old or married or not, you can make a hedge over your family and issues of the family and the things that you understand because God is looking for men who will come and build a hedge of protection so that it does not destroy because there is a lot of destruction that God would like to destroy us because of what we were told in the morning. There are so many things that we have done, grabbing, stealing, killing, murder, and so on. But you can make a hedge. So God is looking for men of prayer, number one. Men of prayer. And when you pray, pray. And when you pray, pray. And when you have prayed, pray again. Kuja hiyo maombi ya Saturday. Hata usiombe sana. Uwe ukipiga kerele moja tu. Jesus! Arafu unaotea kidogo. Amen! Sijali. Just, just do something. Just, just teach yourself. Because prayer, you have to teach yourself how to pray. We are not experts. There is no professor here for prayer. We are all learners. We are telling Jesus, Jesus, teach me how to pray. And he's telling us, Pray like this, our Father who art in heaven. Just come and just say, our Father who art in heaven 20 times. I told people, Muslims pray one prayer five times. One. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Barangapi? Na kitoka pale anaoga mikono na migu. Na tembea. Siata ukuje uombe yu maratan. Just repeat the same. God, do this for me. And then in the afternoon, God... Do this for me. Yani, jifundishe kuomba. Go building your vocabulary in prayer. Because God is looking for men of prayer. Number two, to build a hedge, this man need to be a man who is already committed. Because building a hedge is not easy. Sikuzukari ni majaribu ku build a hedge. Na kupanda nyasi. Lakini kwa sababu mimi sio mkulima. Ninagoja tu kujae magugu. Ndio dadata mtu nilipe 500 atoe magugu. In the process magugu inakula hata ile kaheji nilikuwa nimeweka kazuri. Sasa huko unaenda unakuta mianya. Nilikuwa nimepanda kaiaba. Kwa sababu jirani yangu alikuwa na kaiaba iko namna hii. Kako fit. Nilifikiria ukipanda tu Sasa mimi nae nilikuwa nikiita watu waje wanikatie mikono ilikuwa yani matawi ya kisha kuwa miti mikubwa ndio naita watu wakate. So finally what happened? Ukiwa nje ukiangalia dhuru unaniona niko ndani. Kwa hivyo nikabomoa nikajenga ukuta wa mawe. What I'm saying maombi ni kazi and God is looking for people that are committed. If you're going to build a hedge and your hedge is going to be safe for your people, then it has to be a lot of commitment looking at it cutting it, trimming it, and working on it, working on your prayer life, because God is looking for a man. Could that man be you? Could that man be you? My prayer is that that man will be me. That God will restore to men the prayer life. In the book of Chronicles, there is this statement that has come which says like this. And the sons of Isaac, Isaac, were wiser. They knew the times. My prayer is that the men of Zimmerman Deliverance Church will be wise. They will know the seasons and the times. Blessed be the name of the Lord. God is looking for a man. And he was asking Adam, where are you? And we need to answer him wherever we find ourselves that here I am. Lord, here I am. Use me. One of the things that I have discovered in life is that you can blame everybody and everything. 
I was telling uh, the guys that were getting married, and you can try it. And those that will be getting married, take this, put it as your note. Weka kama note, ili utatumia uko bundi. Iyo miaka ikikuchi. And I have done it myself twice. And that is allowing your spouse to tell you what they think about you every couple of months. Because we keep on changing. Oh, we change. I behave differently now with grandchildren. I'm trying to behave like a grandpa. No wonder they bought me a t-shirt which says, Grandpa for all things. You behave for all things. You grandpa for all things. Now, where you get time up and you tell your wife, today, just tell me what you think about me. Just say it. Because some of the things they will say will not be true. But in all the saying, there will be things that will be true. And in all saying, there will be some exaggeration and there will be misunderstanding. But you keep quiet. Unyolewe na bira maji. Unyolewe polopole na wembe. Polopole na wembe. Polopole na wembe. Wikisha malizika muombe aende, haka kupikie chai munwe na ulale. Because I tell you the biggest problem is we jump very quickly to justify ourselves. Remember, God is talking to, to Adam and he's asking a simple question. Where are you? Adam says, I'm hiding myself. He would have ended it there. I'm just hiding myself. Kwa sababu, nirigundua niko uchi, mimi, diyo hiko hivyo. He would have said, I'm just hiding myself. I had you, and I'm hiding myself because things are not okay. But when he continued on, God wants to probe him a little. He says, Sasa hivi umeniambia. Ni kuota uliota. Ama uliambiwa na nani. You see, I have a friend of mine in the U.S. Ye mke wake, haki muambia anything, ye muambia, ne kueruo weriruo. Uliambiwa. So one day, um, we are visiting them. I say, you don't have faith in, you, in this guy? Mazi be told everything. Kwani ya wezi ambia mtu? You see, when, 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 uh, when in your relationship there is, you have proved like everything you have to be told. I met so and so, he told me. I met so and so, he told me. Finally, even when you are telling what you know it is you, they will still doubt whether it is you. Kapisa, ni wewe kapisa. Where do you listen People who think that I'm soft, when I tell them that I can be hard, they don't believe it. So, <laughs> one time I'm, I'm in my office and I'm telling someone, I'm not your father. Go look for your father who can tell you what to do and so on and so forth. So I was telling somebody, later on I said, this, that somebody is asking, did you really say that? Sasa unajua sasa ni kuchallenge you kwa sababu, wewe unaonekanaga uwezi sema vitu jingine. And I preached here. Kutoka hiyo experience, nikaja nikahubiri hapa. There is a man called Jimmy Kimani, the man. And Jimmy Kimani, the man of God. I told you. If you come to me when it is Jimmy Kimani, the man, you are in trouble. But when you come to me when it is Jimmy Kimani, the man of God, Ah, so you keep on praying. Uh, because you can meet me when sitaki. Ata sura yako sitaki. Ata we si kutaki. Ata we si kutaki. Ata we mwenyewe yako si kutaki. Ata we mwenyewe si kutaki. Yani, na inafanyikaga. You know, you think it is only me. Ata we umekana ya muambia ata we kuna juo na kuwaga hivyo. Sometimes. So, uh, so Adam... God is asking Adam because he, he, the, there's a conversation. But God discovers that in that place, there must be someone that Adam allowed to speak to them. But the way, by the way, he was supposed to be the one speaking to them. Because the Bible says, when animals were brought to them, he's the one who gave them names. He said, 
wewe mbuzi, wewe punda, wewe ngamia. Na mtu akiitwa paka anaenda akisema miau. Ngombe. Mm. You know, they, 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 so here he is God is so sure. Adam. Lazima kuna mtu alikwambia uko uchi. But God continues to tell him, if not so, then you must have eaten the fruit that I ordered you not to. Now when we narrow those two close to ourselves, it's like God is trying to tell you and to tell me, when nobody has told us, because a lot of us do the things that others have told us, or what others have tried to do. When I started church, I started the, the, the church when the movement was so much uh, people, pastors fighting with elders. Unakuta kanisa hiyo, pastor amesimama, amefuta elders. Na unajua elders diyo enye kanisa, wana kuchekerea kidogo, wana funga mferechi. Taithi na offering, hakuna. Unaanza kukaukiwa. Ama hao enye wanaenda kwa pupit, wanasimama, wanasema, kutoka leo, tumefuta pasta. You know, it all depends who takes the microphone first. Because the members were okay. The members have no problem. But whoever takes the microphone first, then you can dismiss your pastor the way you want. And I was, that is the time I joined ministry. And I know pastors within Deliverance Church. Tunakula nyama nao karioko, wanapanga vile wataenda kufukuza waze. Wengi wao walifukuzwa. Because my argument has always been, hii kazi huwezi peke yako. Huwezi. Hii, huwezi. Uh, Wezi yo Mr. Atlas. Hii kazi inataka tusaidiane. So from those days, I would stand and say, these are the people who serves with me. And I will call their names. Actually, one time, I was challenged. They challenged me because of Collins. Because I told him, Collins is an elder. He is a preacher with me. I did not know Collins much. Because I'm asking them, why are you laughing at my members? Why are you laughing at my elders? Every time I go to the local church council and the DCC, they are laughing at my, 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 my leaders. Nikiwambia uya naituwa mogo wanacheka, uya naituwa joroge wanacheka, uya naituwa karugano wanacheka, uya naituwa... Nikakuja bila haa waze wangu kujua, nikatafuta profile ya kila moja wao. Kila moja wao. Na hawajui hata sija mwambia Collins hata isikiria hapa. Because what that meant is that I'm looking at them when I saw them and where they were coming from. So I, say, I said where Karogano was coming from and where I met him. I met Karogano, born again, saved, serious, committed, loving his wife and children. And that's it. So from that point on, hajaanguka. Hapana. Kama alikuwa meanguka kuingine hajaanguka. Huyu ni mogo wa joroga, nilimujua hivi. Huyu ni Patrick, nilimujua hivi. Huyu ni, you know, a prophet. Now when I did that in defense of the people I served with, hawaku niuliza swali tena. You see, those challenges will show up. People would force you over things. So God is asking Adam, ni kuambiwa uliambiwa, ni... ni so, tumeongea na watu, ni kaona wachungaji wengine ni bongolala. Kuna hadithi tulifudishu wa kitabu sana. Sugura na fisi. Wakaabia na tuede tukachape wakezetu leo. Wakapita pali kila mtu wakanunua bokora na wakapaka mafuta. Bokora zamani wale ambao mlizaliwa juzi. Wazee wetu walikuwa. Siwa gaidi kidogo lakini hawakuwa wakiua. Lakini wanawa bokora kaka napakwa tu mafuta. Kwa sababu kuna siku atachapa mtu. Hata kama ni moja tu. Chua! <laughs> Mama yako atachapa mtu. Kwa kana kaka napakwa tu mafuta tu. Hakuna shida. Hako pale inje, kashuru wanaitisha, anapewa kashuru wanakunywa. Lakini kuna siku wataitisha kashuru kakuje na, na, na iriambaya. Usikia mtu wa mepiko. Wow! Sasa, sungura na fisi wakaenda nyumbani. Hawaku, walikuwa majirani. Lakini sungura, akatengeneza chandarua kizuri. Changozi. Na hakaifunika kwa drum. Vizuri. Fisi, aliposikia fisi, mkawa fisi ya meanza kupiga nduru, na ya kaanza kupiga ngoma. Na hii likuwa ikiria zaidi ya hile. 
fisi anasikia kweli jameni huyo jamaa atamuua mke wake Aka, fisi akaua wake asubuhi akakuta sungura anamefikiwa chai na wake si tuliambia na tupige kamwambia mimi sikupiga wangu nilipiga ngoma so anyway so i look at those pastors and they look at me today they have they went into believing which is not true believe and serve with the people of god and you'll be blessed i have served with those people na nikienda kuwatembelea na na lera hata mmoja si amwahubiria hapa nikienda kumtembelea canada alinizunguza kila mahali eh una lera una lera si ulire hata wewe kwani <laughs> so adam who told you now that is the critical point for us as men you unmarried men who told you you have to do certain things you married men who told you you have to do certain things and god is saying i didn't who told you because and this is critical for us in 2020 let's get our instruction from god and you know if we do what somebody mentioned here if every man only brought one man hata si evangelism ule mtu umeona hukumuona hapa umulete hiyo memo ingine. yani your concern is to make sure in the following memo amekuja hata akitaka umpeleke nyumbani kwanza na watu wake utafute uba hapa I, for the first time umweke kwa uba impeleke nyumbani kwake alafu murudi naye yani ujitolee tu useme i have only one i'm looking for only one and it is only and it is not even winning souls is winning a man and we can do that it is it is possible but if it is going to be possible then we have to allow the lord himself to be the one giving us instruction loving one another serving one another being committed to one another because the following was also true for adam if nobody has told you then you have eaten simply if what you do nobody told you then you are in sin that's what it simply means and we need to be restored back to god we used to sing many years ago back to eden i am free from all fear i am free from all sin blessed be the name of the lord and let's not let's not give excuses you remember what i told you so you give your your spouse time to to say it and i have given it to alice twice and she has said things na mdomo unaufunga na ndani unasikia kusimama lakini unasema sisimami sema yote what normally happens hata hiyo maongeo ulitaka kuongea akiendelea unakuta pale you don't need to defend yourself some of it you just leave it but there are some issues that you will handle thereafter kwa sababu kweli huyu dada ameaona na labda atawasaidia katika ndoa yenu ameaona huyo mama yako ameona hata nyinyi ambao amjaoa hata nyinyi you need to have time out with your parents just tell your father tell me anything dad just tell me and don't justify anything just let them tell you eh vile aliona katiro kadhigara mahali akakuta mshuba ilikuwa pombe nusu vile alikuta huko na tu vitu tugine huko eh akaona ni kama hakujua ni nini lakini aliona kuna kitu hapo eh akaona kuna kitu na alipo kusongelea nayo ukawa mkali but you know you can tell him because he will tell you oh parents let me tell you this hakuna mzazi anadharau mtoto wake na ukitaka kujua hivyo sisi ambao tuna watoto wameoa na kuolewa kuwa katika balance inakuwa ngumu sana kusimama kwa balance you have to be really purposed kabisa because nyambura is still my daughter isn't it na wakikosana atarudi kwa nani kwangu kwa hivyo ni mtoto wangu kwa hivyo kuna mambo nikiambiwa nitakata si yeye i'm not saying wako na shida they actually they are expecting another child so <laughs> so the point i'm saying is your son your daughter will always be 
because he's your child. Now you'll be blessed if you can ask someone else. Please tell me. Please tell me. Unaonaga maisha yangu yako namna gani? It's only this uh, this two years that I've not asked the G12 to tell me. We we sit and then we tell each other. What do you think? And it you know it is normally very interesting. But it is always true. These guys, when they write about you, they write. You don't say it, you just write and I see it. Then when I have all the copies without saying who have said it, I read them to you. And have, they have always said, that is true, that is me. And it helps for you to be told. Because wengine ukiambiwa, wengine tunamaringo, na tumajivuno kidogo kidogo, na kuigua na kuijaza na kuihulia you know so we need to be told somebody just to tell you if you worked on this area this is going to help you one time i had a, an elder here he was the richest you know you can have a rich elder and very smart you mean smart very smart vile ukoba na kujaga na tusuti very smart No, he doesn't do that always. But anyway. But this, this guy always, every Sunday, come rain, come sunshine, would come with, a, if it's not a suit, it's a broken, you know, he'll have a tie and a jacket. And very smart. Na mukunjo ikos. Ata kifanya matangazo hapa. Viri ya meenda kufanya matangazo. Ukimuangalia tu. So I discovered what walianza kumuogopa. No, he was not a bad man. It's only, he, he. <laughs> so, what we can say, hey, now you must say, Anajidai. Lakini si tulikuwa marafiki. Alikuwa kija kwangu, tunakunywa chai, tuna. Kwa siku moja amekuja tukakunywa chai, nikamwambia we. We. Chunga maisha. Kanuleza kuna nini watu wanasema una maringo mimi hai kwani nikamwambia twende tukawatembelee watu tukaanza kutembelea watu na ndugu hakubadilisha kuvaa suti zake lakini watu waliona huyu ni mtu wa watu hakuwa na ubaya ni pale tu alifundishwa wakati jojo alikuwa akisoma Kusabu Jojo alisoma, akaambiwa mwalimu, asiwe na ndevu, na hawe na tai. Si akakuta mmoja ruiru wako na ndevu, alinyolewa kia hinya. Saa so, huyo anaya likuwa mesoma inzo zanyakati, lazima uwe, kila siku, simati. Hakuwa na ubaya. Na kuna mshirika moja, alitoka kanisa, hiki kipindi. nimembeba na gari kuku wa gari nyingi huku kulikuwa yangu na ya huyo mzee gari mbili kwa hivyo nimemtoa church nikampeleka pale alikuwa akiishi na tukaenda na mzee mwingine lakini na huyo mzee mwingine akakosa hekima tumempeleka mzee na tumealikwa tuigie tunywe chai mimi ndio dereva kwa hivyo mimi siongei dereva niko park tuna park atoke sasa akasema simtoke munywe chai Uyu mzee akasema hatutakunywa leo lakini tumbo tutakuwa tukiibeba kila wakati. I don't know what that mzee got na hiyo tumbo. I don't know. Kwa sababu tulikutana naye after many years. Nilipouliza alitoka kwa nini akasema kwa sababu ya tumbo. Kwa kwani ulishika namna gani? Kuniambia tumbo itakuwa mkikuja nayo kila wakati. Kule nimetoka mira za kwetu hiyo sio mzuri kuambia mtu hivyo so i discovered nikija kwako kwa sababu sijui kule umetoka afadhali nikwambie nitakuja siku nyingine lakini sitakwambia nitakuja na tumbo tena so god is looking for a man he's looking for you he's looking for me 
He's looking for a prayer for man. And we pray that this year we are going to pray hard. He's looking for someone who is committed so that you can do, you can be on your station and make sure the enemy cannot pass through there. Kwa sababu wewe ni mtu wa maombi. So if you miss whatever I was trying to tell you, is that I feel the Lord is want us to rise up wherever we are and become men of prayer and men that are committed so that even in your family, kuombe ata jamiyenu, kuombe atu ata jamiyenu, kuomba mungu aweze kuizingira na amani yake. Na nikasema lazima sauti, masikio yako, yawe familia na sauti ya mungu. So reading the word of God and knowing the voice of God so that we can tell the difference. Because there are people that might say like Jomo Kenyatta who believed there is a scripture in the Bible that says God helps those that help themselves. He would quote that many, many places. But there is nothing like that. Actually, God helps those people that trust in him. It is to trust in him, not to do anything. We depend on him. God does not depend on us. So we pray that you will hear the voice of God. Na utajua sauti yake. Na hiyo sauti yake utaiandama katika mwaka huu. Na Bwana aturegeshee maombi. Eh, mwambie jirani yako maombi Bwana. Maombi tu, maombi Bwana.